Okay, 10458 Alexander. Standing out by the edge of the road, there's the corner of the house. Got a pan. Give you a view of what's down the street. What's across the street. Pretty much got privacy all the way around you. The other side of the street. Up. You've got a three car garage, which you've already seen on the uh, pictures. Unfortunately, we don't have access to the garage, I don't think. I think it's locked up. But it's not attached to the house. But it's just a uh, a wide open garage, all open space, no walls to separate the garage parking. Air conditioner. Manufactured 2003. You can see the house itself, the paint's starting to fade. So you are going to have to paint it sometime. Not sure if you can see through there. But they've got French doors that come out so you can get into there. This is your back. Nice and private. All the way around. Roof on the house looks really good. But as I say, you can see the paint is all faded. It does need some landscaping, obviously. It's got the curbing in place. But you're going to have to come out here and weed and put plastic down and re-landscape it. Again, you can see the discoloration. The curbing. Them all need to be trimmed back. Bushes need to be trimmed. Like I said, a couple palm trees and some nice landscaping. Different paint on the house. Really look good. This is the front entryway. You got the smaller tiles. Off to the right. Huge living room area, family room area. Cathedral ceilings. And standing here at the front door, there's the kitchen. And then a couple closets. Alarm system. Once you come in from the living room or from the entry room, you've got a long hallway down that way. And then you've got the kitchen. Really nice sized laundry room. Again, all this is all the same tile. I'll do the kitchen here with a breakfast dining room area. No refrigerator. Mismatch appliances with the microwave and the stove. Dishwasher. It's pretty dated in regards to the lighting and so forth. However, it wouldn't take much to put in some can lighting and upgrade the kitchen a little bit. Nice sliders. There's your pantry. Got a bedroom right off the kitchen. It's the master got carpet. I would say it probably is going to need to be tore up. Regular ceilings. Yeah, there's some mold issues here with the house. 
we got a closet here a little safe in the wall this is the master bedroom and the master closet pretty good sized closet do have some issues with dry rot and some mold. Looks like there's probably a water leak. I'm assuming the bathroom's on the other side of the wall, so it probably had some water damage. Here's your master. You've got a tub, a garden tub. one single sink and then your walk-in shower so I would assume the closets on the other side there there probably was an issue with the shower you got some kind of stuff going on right here but again this house has been vacant so the downside of this house You've only got a single sink. Some people want his and her sinks or a little bit more room. Kitchen is not bad with the cupboards and so forth. And we're going to go down the hallway to the other rooms. So you've got a nice size. Um, I guess this could be a den. There's no closet, so they really can't call it a bedroom. But you can make it into a den. Again, it's got the carpet. And you go to tile. You go back here to this room. Now this room does have a closet, so this is a true bedroom basically the same size room and over here we've got another bathroom single sink shower tile all the way up same tile Got another room here, which is a bedroom with a closet. All red. Walls are in good shape. Closet is nice. Um, if red's not your color, it wouldn't be hard to paint. Here's another bathroom. So there's two bathrooms that are back to back. And then you got the bathroom and the master. So you have three bathrooms basically the same bathroom and then you got another bedroom here rooms look like they're probably 12 by 12 or very similar to that and then you've got another bedroom here all of these if they don't have the tile they have the, the carpet um, my suggestion would be it may not show up on the tape but my suggestion would be you plan on ripping all the carpet out because I see stains on it either from animal or spills or whatever. I'm not sure if you can see it on there, but every room has stains, so I would probably rip out the carpet on all of them. So, but you've got um, two bathrooms on this side, three bedrooms, actually four bedrooms, and the, uh, the den. And then, again, you've got your long hallway so if you've got a huge family or you want to make this into a seasonal rental you definitely have the space to to do so so we'll give you one more quick pan of this huge living room area and then a pan of the kitchen because those are usually the most important And it looks like you have plenty of cupboard space. 
if you wanted to add some cupboards, you certainly could because you have enough wall space, but you have pretty much what appears to be adequate cupboards, but you certainly could put some more in on either one of these walls if you really needed to. So, and then we'll do one more of the laundry room. It's a nice size laundry room. A little bit of water damage up there that I would definitely want to check into. But with the roof being in the condition that it is in, um, I would say it may have been an old roof that caused that. So, and then you've got a shut off here. What this does is if your plumbing in Florida is ran under the slab. So if you run into a water leak problem, you can kill that particular section without having all the water turned off in the whole house. So, okay, that's gonna do it for this house.